Hello beautiful people, this is Steve from Black Boy Games and welcome back to Doom the Roguelike, Doom RL version 0.9.9.7 as you know because you can already read, amazing graphics by Derek Yu, but enough about all these people continue the game, as you remember from last time we were just about to launch into a new level wearing our beautiful blue armor that removes two points of damage what we are faced with is two barrels I could blow up those barrels, but I don't unnecessarily blow up barrels. Ah! Uh, that's right, I have vision goggles from last time, so I'll shoot him. Reload. Shoot him. Move back. Shoot him. Uh-oh. Yes! Killed both of them. That's what you get for s sneaking up on me like that. We'll drop the shotgun because we wanted to move it out of the doorway. Ah. Close the door. Don't need to grab any bullets because we can't use bullets because this is a shotgun only game. Hey, let's go back this way. Wait a minute. You may wonder why I always move in zigzags. It's because I like to zig and then zag repeatedly. No, it's actually because you're less likely to take fire from the direction you're moving in. You're more likely to be able to dodge. Can't dodge shotguns. Uh-oh. Retreat! Good thing we had the shotgun perk, which allows you to reload on the move. Now, let's hit you and hopefully blow up the barrel as well. See how the barrel blasted him a long way away? And now he should be pretty hurt. Let's see how hurt he is. You can read up the top there, he's only wounded, which means he's half hurt. More or less. Well, that was a good shotgun blast. Fire blindly and kill him. Grab that pistol, move it out of the doorway so I can close... Woo! Retreat! Fire blindly a few... Ow! He... He ambushed me! I was caught in his clever ambuscade. What is an ambuscade, you ask? I think it's an old school word for ambush. Now let's get moving! There's a dude! Kill him. He must have been hurt because there's no way you can kill them in one shotgun blast. Have a look in here, get all my feet wet, but at least I'm well camouflaged in my blue armor. Ow! Hey! How you doing, bro? Well, aside from dead. <laughs> ah! Oh! Now, did you see what happened there? A chain gunner shot at me from outside my line of sight because he was hidden behind the wall. Exactly what I do to all the monsters, but in reverse. There he is. Good night. Don't let anyone get that medikit. That medikit are. Uh, all of your medikit are uh, belong to us. Now those brown guys, imps, they can't use medikits. They can't pick up items of any sort. Now let's grab the medikit. Oh, hello big red ball. Allow me to shoot you in the ball. And then we'll shoot you. We'll grab the blue armor. Nice. We're making good progress. As you can see down the bottom left there, Experience is 4, 36%. What that means is level 4 and 36% of the way towards being at level 5. Which, as you can probably guess, is good. Do, 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 do. Oh, dodge behind cover. I can see him, he can't see me. And I can hear many monsters moving. Blew a nice big hole in the wall. And because I was listening to the stereophonics of where the sounds were coming from, the monster growly sounds, I knew there must have been a monster in this room because it was coming from stereo pan center, which means above or below you. Stereo pan to the right means monsters are to the right. Stereo... Ah! Should have heard him, you'd think. Close that door. Close this... Actually, leave this door open and we'll ambush him when he comes through the door like that. Grab these boots. Now, what we will do is we will wear wheel... See the steel boots there, down the bottom there? And, uh, yeah, we'll put those on our feet. Now, if we go to our equipment menu, we can see we're wearing blue armor on our body, a shotgun in our weapon hand, steel boots on our feet, and a double shotgun in our off weapon hand. And below that, you can see here the traits we've been getting. Reloader, second level reloader, first level badass, first level shoddy man. And this gives you a whole bunch of other stats and details that... Well, I understand because I'm a nerd, but I'm not going to really waste time explaining. It just talks about different damage types and how much you take and how much the armor modifies different damage types. But we're not going to get too deeply into that. Hey, a double barrel shotgun. I won't take it because I've already got one, but if I didn't have one, I would very definitely be taking that one. 
Now, we've discovered a new monster here. A new monster. Right, this is called the Pain Elemental. And what he will do is, well, right now he's just chasing me, but he spawns those nasty, uh, on-fire head chasey things that are known as Lost Souls. Fortunately, I have a shotgun, which does a blast radius of damage. And now we'll just kill him and kill all his friends. That's all the monsters on the level. That's really, really good. And there's nothing else really to pick up except for these blue balls. Ah, uh, health bottles or whatever. But we're going to proceed onwards to the next level. We're going to grab this health ball, which if you watched the last episode in full, and I know you did, then you will know that this... Looking at my health, my health now says 198%, so it gives me like a massive health charge over and above my normal 100%. Downwards we go. Um, I'll explain what that R2-D2 looking thing is in a minute. First order of the day, change to double barrel shotgun, move in. I'm probably going to take a bit of damage doing this. Now, why all those imps died is because both the imps and this bigger guy here who is a hell knight when they throw their weapons, or throw their balls or projectile attacks, whatever their projectile attacks hit does blast radius damage. And that blast radius damage from the Hell Knight killed all the imps around the Hell Knight, because he hit a Hell Knight instead of me. He hit an imp instead of me. I can talk. Ow! Stop it! And now this thing here is a phase device. When I pick it up, it says up the top, you picked up a phase device. Good for me. Hooray! I am feeling all phasey. Uh, I won't pick up those yet, because I'm still not above the threshold of my health counting down. You can see my health is still counting down. When it gets to 150, it stops. Use that. Oh, that was really cool. That switch repaired my armor. My armor durability has gone up to 61%. These are stairs leading downwards to the chained court. The chained court, allow me to tell you, is a tough level. A nasty level. It has a boss fight on it and it is far and away the toughest monster that we have met anywhere in this game. Looking in my inventory, well, wow, we feel that we've got a lot of spare green armor, one spare blue armor, hundreds and hundreds of shells, some small med packs, a phase device and a shell box. Now shell boxes are super useful for two reasons. The first reason is, as you can see, there's a hundred shells in the shell box, whereas in a normal inventory slot you can obviously only carry 50. The second thing that shell boxes do, and I'm sorry if I already explained this, they allow you to reload your weapons almost instantaneously, rather than the normal point, the normal time that it takes to reload. Move away from him. Uh oh. Good and dead. Now I'm going to use that armor helmet there, yes that is a green glowing helmet. That repairs my armor durability, so observe, blue armor, one of two, um, it re uh, when it's damaged it only removes one point of the two points durability, but now that I repair it, you can see down here that the damage resistance goes up to two full points of damage, which is good. Enough explanations, kill him. Let's go and see what's down there, and the correct answer is nothing is down there. Now. Keep finding guys, keep things moving. Now you can see that barrel had green stuff in it. That is acid and that will hurt you somewhat. Not ridiculously, but enough to be annoying if you step into it. Okay, so I've, I haven't, ah, oh, this is a bad situation to be in. We'll wait for him to come through the door and blow him with a double barrel to make sure he dies. And we're still waiting for him to come. Ow! What? Ah! He didn't come through the doorway like they normally do. Normally when they see you, they pursue you. Let's pick up that so I can see further. Oh man, there's no way to get through there without... So here's what we're going to do to fix that. Woo! Kill him. We're going to move these barrels up here. Uh-oh move my cursor to blow that up and then we gotta go and kill him nice double barrel only takes two hits potentially one hit if you got a perfect hit on him move that you gotta be careful when moving barrels because if someone sees you and shoots at the barrel 
Uh oh. Oh! Good. Whoop! No, 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 don't do that. There we go. Sorry, I had to move my mouse because sometimes my mouse gets in the way of things. Do you mind? Now I'm down below 100% health. Wait here. Shoot him again. Ah, that's alright. Double barrel shotgun will fix you nicely. Uh, there's nothing you can do. Woo! Uh, he's going to shoot at me, isn't he? Double barrel. Shoot you. And moving onwards. Ooh! A technical mod pack. Very nice in diddly do. Uh, yes, very nice indeed. They're rockets, which under normal circumstances would be very useful, obviously for doing such things as putting into a rocket launcher and firing them at your enemies. But seeing as this is a shotgun only run, uh, we can only obviously use shotgun shells. We need to get rid of some armor. They're carrying too many suits of armor. So we're going to drop uh, the most damaged suit of armor, which is in slot B. So drop you there and drop you, drop armor C and then blow up those. So that destroys the armor, not leaving it around for my enemies to use. Go kill whatever's left on this level. Uh-oh. It's time to run back to the other doorway. And I'm probably going to take at least one hit. I think he may have been wearing armor. Four hits is a lot for me. Hi. Ah, oh, more of you. Uh, let's blow him away. Blow all that away. No shortage of shells at all. Hundreds and hundreds of shells. It's like shellmas around here. Which is a word I just made up. For shell Christmas. Uh, uh, what are you doing? And everything is dead on this level. Now it's time to go back and get those couple of healthy blue drinky potiony things that we left somewhere near the start of the level. You and you. Now it's onwards to the change court. Now do you remember we did uh, Hell's Arena and the two tough boss monsters that we faced there, the big pink guys with the big green snot hands as I like to call them, they throw their own snot at you, they hurt a lot, they're really tough. There's four of them that surround you at the start of this level. So, let's go. Mm, nervous, because this is actually going to be tough. And there's that big tough boss monster that does explosive fire blasts that you can't dodge. And that monster raises monsters from the dead. So you need to be tactical in how you kill monsters, not leaving their bodies in places where they can be raised from the dead. Too much talking, not enough action. Right. Now you can see there a chainsaw, which is no good to me from a weapon perspective, but it is good to me in that it turns me berserk. In berserk, your whole screen glows red and you massively resist damage, which is great for me. So, single barrel shotgun, shoot blind out the door. We hear the sound of a basic grunt who will come towards me. Now you can see to my upper left there, there is lava. You do not want to stand in that. It doesn't kill you, but it hurts you a lot. It will take 40 to 50% of your undefended health from each time you step in it. So what we do is we blast him into the lava, which does two things. One, kills him, and two, doesn't leave a body lying around for Mr. Nasty Monster Boss Tough Guy to raise from the dead. Shoot out there, nothing. Oh, there's a dude there. Open the door. He moved. Where'd he go? Oh, he's coming this way. Good. Oh, someone else has decided to shoot at me. Let him come closer. Uh-oh. Alright. Now, both of those guys can see me and will hit me. So we're going to duck back to here. Take the hit from the pistol guy, which is much better than taking the hit from... Right, good. Now we'll let that pistol guy come in, blast him into the lava, and now let's move that pistol so we can carefully sneak out and hope we don't get hit. Uh, close that. Uh-oh. 
Oh crap, this is exactly what we didn't want. Now I have to run away from my little fortress and go somewhere else. He's seen me? Maybe he hasn't seen me. Oh, mother of God. Oh, remember we were talking about that nasty, nasty boss monster? We are now between a rock and a hard place. A rock. And imagine that that rock is very, very rocky indeed, and the hard place is very, very hard indeed, and you will get some understanding of where I am right now. Oh, crap. Run. Yep. I've switched my uh, bottom left. You can see I'm now running. This is very bad indeed. Close that door. Run towards the back. Ah, oh, we're probably going to die. Like, that's how bad this situation is. We might live, because I can grab the chainsaw and become berserk. Right. But we're still in bad shape, because grab the chainsaw. Uh, right, I can't use the chainsaw. Switch to double barrel. Uh, right. And you see that the explosive blast that he did, even though I resist triple damage, I'm still down to 70% health. This is bad indeed. So, we're going to charge towards... Uh, who do we want to kill here? Kill him? He's wounded, so at least he's sort of hurt. Uh, don't want to do this. Alright. Let's maybe dodge in here. Hey! Kill him? No, we don't want to kill him yet. Alright, come on. Oh, okay, we're off to level 5. Sorry that was going really slow, but I had to kind of think my way through it. Do I want badass? Um, no, we want Iron Man. Iron Man gives you more hit points. A very useful perk to have right now, thank you. See, I killed him. But unfortunately, uh, hey, I can retreat through the hole in the wall here. Excellent. Uh, we're still in big trouble, though. Think your way through it. Okay, you're hurt. Uh, reload. I'll take the hit from the Baron, I think. Right, good. Baron of Hell is almost dead. Oh crap, now there's two of them. My day gets more and more real as we go on. I need to kill him. He needs to just die very fast. I've only got one large med pack. We'll use a small one. Close in. Kill him. Oh, now we're dead. Oh, now we're dead. Um, need to think this through. We can phase out of there, or we can try and suck it up and run. We're probably not going to survive this. Ah, uh, no, we're not going to survive this. How, how hurt is he? It's still going to take two or three more hits to kill him. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, we... No, we're probably not going to get away with this. How... He's still only severely wounded. Mm. Going to chance it. One more hit. Alright, this is good. We're going to use our large med pack. Close in. Kill him. And we lived. Sweet mother of mercy, we lived. Alright, now the Arena Master, that was the name of the ugly green dude, dropped the staff, which we will keep for later. Alright, kill these guys, because I can see them, they can't see me. That was good. Wow. Wow. I, I, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. I'm just going to finish off this level now, which shouldn't be too difficult now that we've killed all the the A-grade 
bad butts. That's a polite way of saying badasses on the level. I am the only badass left on this level. Although there is lots of chain gun dudes off to my left towards the exit of the level. And nothing over this way. I have some armor. Let's put it on. Because obviously my last suit of armor got destroyed. Fire. Fire blindly off into the distance. To Ba -da -ba -ba. Firing blindly into the distance. This is the best way to kill monsters. I like killing monsters this way. That's a lot of chain gun guys, and they will chew through your health pretty quick. Now, let's keep moving. Shouldn't be that many monsters. Alright, good. Now you can see in the bottom right, the chained court. That's the name of the level. The writing just turned blue. I just picked up another technical mod pack and a bulk mod pack. Technical mod packs, if you use them on weapons, um, make the weapons fire faster. Bulk mod packs, if you use them on weapons, make the weapons reload quicker. Bulk mod packs also massively increase the durability of, of armor. And technical mod packs make, um, make you get knocked back much less if you get caught in the blast radius of a weapon. So not super useful, I don't usually use it on armor. And guys, I'm going to wind up this episode here, just before we go down to the next level. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this little playthrough. I know I am. This game is wonderful, and there's so many new weapons, new monsters, new cool stuff to discover. This is Steve from Blockboard Games. Going to sign off right here. Really hope um, that you are all well. Much love, many blessings to you all. And thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Thanks, guys. Bye for now.